Now, attraction in a relationship isn't always the most important thing in a lot of people's eyes. But it is up there for a lot of others. Like, come on. I don't know how many people want their partner to look at them and be like, like, oh, yeah, you're not visually appealing to me whatsoever. And not even like a sexual way. I just don't like, look, like, like, who wants that, you know? But, you know, we're not that superficial. There might be some things with our partner's body we don't find the most appealing, but that's pretty normal. But if you were to tell them that, is that okay? In other words, would you be wrong for telling your partner that you weren't attracted to their body? We're about to find out. Today, I'll be presenting you and some of my friends with a scenario where someone told their partner they weren't attracted to their body. But the question is, were they wrong for doing that? So let's see what my guests and what you guys think. Yo, so I have brought y'all all here <laughs> to ask y'all a particular question. Just drop it. So am I wrong for not being attracted to my girlfriend's body? Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, what a um, spicy yes, opener. Why are you in a relationship? <laughs> yes. let, me, let me explain. So sad. Here, let, let's give this guy a chance. Let me read out his plea and let me see what y'all think. Oh, this is a real person. Yeah, this is a real person. Uh -oh. This is a sh yes. person. All right, so here we go. So me and my girlfriend have been dating for almost three years. We have fun together and we really care about each other. No, you don't. <laughs> Just to keep it simple. <laughs> Wait a <laughs> I will say that's the first thin person I've ever been with. She's flat, petite, and pretty short. Most of the girls I've been with uh, have been on the bigger side in the good places, in uh, parentheses. The cheeks. And I've always been a fan of, well, a bigger chest size, if you know what I mean. Is he talking about the breasts? He's talking about chest plates because he's talking about RuneScape. <laughs> that all started when me and my girlfriend were watching Netflix a few nights ago, and she randomly asked me if I was okay with her having a flat chest. <laughs> How is that prompted during a Netflix? <laughs> Yo, like, bro! Yo, it be like that, though. What are they watching, it be like bro? That, though. They're watching Breaking Bad. <laughs> Yo, bitch! <laughs> like, he goes, why you look, why you got a bunny like Jesse Pinkman? <laughs> she sees Jesse's girlfriend <laughs> flatline, and she's like, are you okay with me having a flat chest? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, where, where in the story does he redeem himself? <laughs> well, I, we want to find out. Where's the uh, redemption? Art? She's always been insecure about not having boobs. I asked why she was curious about this, and she told me she noticed that I never really had anything to say about her chest. And that day, she had been trying on lingerie, and none of the ones she tried on her fit in the <laughs> chest region. Why'd you Yo, laugh? What the fuck? <laughs> no, because I'm just imagining this girl going through some lingerie, and he's like, there's something off. <laughs> like, there's something missing here. That kind of put her back in a mental funk where she thinks she's not attractive if she doesn't have a certain figure. She said she was just curious. I told her I had to be honest. <laughs> Uh, yeah, here we go. Bro, I gotta be honest. <laughs> I told her I had to be honest and said that I'm not attracted to her chest size and that I actually prefer bigger boobs. Mm. It's not a turn off having a smaller size, but not a turn on. If I'm being honest, that's why I usually prefer she faces away from me during intercourse. Oh, oh wait! No. Oh, no. Oh, Run that shit back, Kurt. Oh, Run that no. <laughs> He, oh, he no. said, don't look Wait. at me, this poor lady. I don't want that. You're oh, supposed to give us prompts God. that get split the, yeah. the group. Oh, no. <laughs> well, this is not split the room. He didn't say that to her, did he? Maybe he can redeem himself. He's still got a little oh, time. Shit. There's still a couple. Okay. There's still like a paragraph he left. He goes, surgery exists. <laughs> she was quiet for a while and then she said she was going to go home since she had work in the morning she texted me later on that night and told me what i said hurt her a little uh, obviously what oh my god uh, she goes like she don't look at me what is she supposed to thing. fucking okay. do all right so far okay hear, hear me out okay she asked God damn, Darren. She started it. God damn, Darren. She started it. Hear me out. Hear me out, okay? She started it. God damn. It's her boy. He wasn't going to tell her shit, they, okay? They've been together three years. He wanted to be honest with her, okay? Wait, right. you want him to lie? Is that worse? I, I feel no, like that's worse. No, I want him to have more tact. He literally said that he doesn't like it when they when she faces him. I wanted him. him to be better with his word choice. Maybe he was a little too blunt, all right? A but little? Like, and, <laughs> but like, dude. God damn. This is, this, this is what she asked for. Like, what do you, what do you, like, he's if, being If honest. I asked my girlfriend, how do I look? And she says, this is why I don't look at you when we have sex. I would be very much hurt. I don't yeah, know how you would take fuck. that. He just said specific specifically in the titty region okay <laughs> it doesn't necessarily you know well, arouse him okay, okay, wait, let me, no, let me, let me, wait let me read this let me read this before we finish he's this talking about the titty wait, 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 wait. let 
me, I go, go, Chris. Let me finish this. Let me finish. She said we've been dating for a while and never brought this up and that she feels like I lied to her. I told her I didn't know what to tell her. Am I wrong? Oh, no. All right. Oh, so first off, before we get into debate, he's everyone not, tell me your not. stance. Okay, so I think he's an asshole because there are better ways to explain things. And also, yes, it's just like a matter of you realize that, okay, sure, you're quote being honest, but like, what are you, what ground are you covering yeah. here? Also, like, what, what are you doing? You're gonna, you're gonna be like, whoa, I'm being fucking honest. Then you're gonna go post this prompt on Reddit being like, guys, I was just being honest. <laughs> like, no fucking shit, you were being honest. You're also being a fucking <laughs> asshole. Right. So it's like, what are you gaining here? All right, uh, Ivan, what's your stance? I no, don't know. No, same shit. Like, all right, you, she asked you for your opinion, but you didn't have to go about it uh, in that way. Oh my God. Like, there, there are so many better ways to explain that. And he yeah. picked none of them, so I think he's still an <laughs> asshole. I don't know, man. I don't know. All right, very all right. Mads, Mads, all right. Mads, so, so there's this thing which a lot of people do to me because I'm I'm a bit shit. So they do a criticism <laughs> sandwich. Right, they do a criticism sandwich, which is where you give a little bit of a nice compliment and then you tell them the issue and then you finish it off with something nice. He could have said, "Hey, look, I I'm a real big fan of of." Uh, <laughs> Of your thighs. Nah, you're already doing it wrong, dude. You're literally uh, already doing it wrong. Wait, how am I? Mads, just tell uh, me your stance. Listen, it's for, it's for, it's for <laughs> act, which is important, all right? Don't compare. I'm not this man, all right? I do sh uh, in this situation. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, what's whoa. your stance, Mads? What's your, what's your My stance, My stance is he, oh, mate, he could have gone about it a bit better. Bro, you suck, dude. Yeah, he, Criticism sandwich, you wrong? suck. You also <laughs> really suck. <laughs> 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 Dude, that all sandwich right, is all, all right. meat, Christian. Oh my God, there's no bread in that. Yeah, bro. Here's a keto criticism. <laughs> <laughs> no! no! Dude, bro, you gave her a lettuce wrap filled with bacon. What is that? Baron, what's your stance? My stance is, okay, I thought about it and I, I agree. I, I see where everybody's coming from. Yeah. I do think he's an asshole. Asshole for, the, for like how blunt and like how direct he was with it, he could have he could have definitely softened the blow for sure. But I do I do not I do not think that he's in the wrong for telling her the truth about it though. I All think right. he could have done it earlier. No no no. And then here's the thing with that too. Yeah. Look, here's the thing with that too. Because she's saying like she felt like he lied to her and he should have told her earlier. Like, how the f is he gonna like? That's what? different. And what that's scenario yeah. does he is he supposed to? say that like oh can you pass me the salt also your titties are small like wh what are you talking about yeah it's like bro the after sex it's quiet silent and then he just randomly says i hate your boobs like <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. I get like, that. that's yeah, not like, fair <laughs> wait before before we continue let me let me state my 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 there i do think he's an asshole but really only for the way he approached it He's, yeah. he is, he is very That's reasonable fair. to feel how he feels, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. But he could have like, he didn't have to slap her. Like, yeah. There is no reason he had to say, I don't like looking at your boobs. Yo, it's like, <laughs> yo, he you should be honest yeah, yeah. during relationships, but that's like, hey. like too honest. eight year old honesty. Hello? You're ugly, does a cartwheel. <laughs> 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 no, but it's true though, like, I, like I said, I don't think he's allowed to feel how he feels. Of course, you yeah. Know what I but, mean, but like, bro, come on. You say, yo, we've been in a relationship for how long? Okay, I love you. I I love your eyes. I love your hair. I love the way we talk. Uh, you're like my best friend. Sure, like, sure, I prefer bigger boobs, but like, you're the person I want to be with for three years. You know what I mean? Well, I think what she's really asking for there isn't necessarily like your brutally honest opinion. Yeah. It's your assurance. Yeah. She's asking for assurance. So if you can give it to her while also stating your opinion and not lying, like that's the proper way to go about it. Yeah. But then he just straight up went, I'm just going to be honest. And if you don't like the truth, then fuck. And I'm gonna talk about it on Reddit, dude. The, uh, how he set the mood in in the in the uh, Reddit post was like that she was asking it from like a security standpoint, where she was like, oh, like so. Sort of yeah, nervous. she wanted a, she wanted assurance. How do you like yeah. not read the room that bad? That shit is crazy, dude. There's and it's only y'all in the that room. That is crazy, bro. Because <laughs> if she was saying, if she was saying like, oh. Uh, what's your favorite body? Uh, like, what's your favorite body type? Or like asking shit like that. Then, yeah, I feel like it's appropriate for him to to say what he likes. But to be like, oh, I'm gonna be honest. I don't like you. I prefer this. When she's asked, yeah, exactly what Chris was saying. When she's asking for assurance, he just have to put her down. She, there was no if need. If she asked what his favorite body type, he better say yours, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. So wait, I 
I don't. I'm not one to lie though. Like if like. Yeah, if, like yeah, yeah. I'm not oh, into you like that. No, as it, come on, like playfully, you gotta be like yours. Oh, of course. Of course. And then she's like, but for real though, and be like, okay, not yours. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but not yours though. Nah, but he's allowed to feel like that. I, and I, I think, I think that's just my main takeaway from this. Like he's yeah. allowed to feel how he feels, and he should be honest with her. But, mm -hmm. but if there was one thing not to say, bro, why did you tell her that during sex? You don't, you, Dude, that's why you don't face toward that's her. That's a fucking awful thing to like, say. Why? And and for what? What does this? What does this do? Also, how'd y'all end up together if if during sex you don't like face her? Like, did y'all do? <laughs> did you not face her for three years? Yo, maybe you just like really like dogs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what know, like, what's going on? No, man? I mean. <laughs> That's just in the bedroom though, so that's just like that. You know, people have weird shit. You know, some people like feet, some people like bondage. So some people just don't look like looking at their. Yeah, partner, so then you know? it's like to, you you get around it. You know, I know, but well, it clearly was a problem to the point where. And it, well, like... they fixed it. She turned around. <laughs> <laughs> what a what a fabulous temporary. Like I mean, imagine the imagine if the tables were flipped. She's like, yo, honestly, I love huge. D are you like? <laughs> no. <laughs> what you, what uh -oh. you would do is. Uh -oh. you no, wait. Okay, wait, hold up. Yeah. I, I, I go, I um. go, I'd go still beat. <laughs> Still be cool. Still, still be cool. I did it though. I still be a little hurt. Be like, damn though. You for real? <laughs> but like no, three years dude, down the line, like, like that, yo, though. what does that say about her? That I feel like that means that it's not as valued as highly as as you would think. You know, like mm. she prefers big, but like. She could have left at any time for a bigger but she stuck with your baby. She goes, was fine. I like huge dicks. I go, all right, I'm going to stop being nice then. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I don't think he's like a, that bad of a guy, honestly. I just think, I don't think he's a bad out of a guy either. I think he's just really bad with I think he just didn't read for right. He just does not read the room. Yeah. I don't think this makes him like a, like a terrible person or whatever. It's just that he should have held back a little bit. And that doesn't mean he doesn't love her or anything like that. They have been together for three years i think I, don't, I think he's wrong but not that. i think he did an asshole move yeah he did a, yeah. yeah okay i'll say it. he did he a did real an asshole, asshole move. move real yeah. real dumb i mean it was my friend about dude like you're yeah being a bit of a prick though. all right so we have everyone's final rating nah. yeah my final rating yeah. is i awesome. think she really overreacted and he's being typical honest dog she's she's crazy she's overreacting, crazy, dude bro. Now, the poor girl in this scenario might have heard some unpleasant things from her boyfriend. And y'all can too, from me, be listening to this video with some premium quality earbuds. Can't tell already, this video is sponsored by Raycon. I'll tell y'all once, I'll tell y'all again, the folks over at Raycon are disrupting the electronics industry by designing the most premium wireless earbuds for only half the price as your usual brands. And I'm telling you premium because they look great and they feel even better, thank goodness. See, something I love about Raycon is they come with these customizable gel tips that come in from big to small to make sure that you have the perfect in-ear fit. So say goodbye to random ear pain, that stuff is annoying. See, I've been using wired headphones with my old phone, but then it completely broke. So recently I got a new phone with no earphone jack. And let me tell you, Raycons came in clutch. Pull it out, they pair instantly, and I'm having an even better experience than I did before. Plus they come in a variety of different colors, red, black, and of course, Kurt Ritchie blue, which I'm pitching. Not to mention they have six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and it comes with a charging case. Like, come on. So if you wanna go hold some Raycons, support me and the channel, and you know, save a little cheddar of your own, go to buyraycon.com forward slash Kurt Ritchie, and there you'll get 15% off your entire Raycon order. Yes, the whole thing. So once again, go to buyraycon.com forward slash Kurt Ritchie to get 15% off your entire order. Thank you, Raycon. Oh, what's up, y'all? Uh. Yo, thank you so much for watching that video. I'm starting like a little uh, new thing where I casually talk about Reddit things. Now, don't close the door, man. You're in the video. Yeah. So if you like these types of videos that are uh, both low and high effort at the same time, Please let me know in the comments below. Uh, this time I have more announcements to say than plugging all the rest of my stuff. And now I am uh, a part of the Crunchy Cast, Crunchy Rolls uh, video podcast. Please go check that out. Um, if I'm not lazy, I'll put a link in the description. Also, I am I'm going to be on uh, Recreo. My other channel is having a panel live on Friday. Uh, I don't know when. I again very unprepared here. Link in the description uh, for those details. Finally, uh, yo, uh, please 
so every all my patrons that are scrolling by right now i really appreciate y'all i i need y'all to live thank you patrons for supporting me i really appreciate it uh please join the patreon i'm, I'm fleshing that out and probably will be doing a little restructuring to it um but if you check out the patreon be much appreciated anyways that's really all i got uh, thank you guys so much for watching and i guess i'll catch you in the next one peace